So you're turning, you're turning to finish your pivoting, correct? And when you finish turning, your pivoting is done. What about your head? Your head is also pivoting, you know, but it's floating and pivoting. Okay, so so when I move this, you know what said? When I'm sitting here, when I'm moving here, of course this whole thing is moving. But what do you see actually physically moving? The toes, right? The, uh, the ball of the feet and the lifting of this. You see it, right? If I do this, you may not see the heel. But as soon as I do this, you see right away. But many people, they think it's this, but it's not. Correct? It's like I'm sitting here and I raise it. I raise you and turn. So what are we doing here? See, I'm doing this. If I don't, if I, if I do this, and if I do this, and I do this, you know what's wrong. Does that make sense now? Isn't it interesting? So all along, we are... We are Levanta la rodilla. Better? Better. Okay, now you try, now you take from there. Now you try, you move this, no move this. You try. No good, right? Okay, now you move this, don't move this. Mueve la cadera, pero no el hombro. Ha, nothing happened. Right? Now you move this together. Ahora las dos cosas juntas. Ah, sí, algo. You see? Three things can happen here. Ocurren tres cosas. One, he move this. Okay, not so good. Si solo mueve arriba, bien, pero no. And don't move this. The second one, he move this. Don't move this. Worse. Lo peor es cuando mueve la cadera sin los hombros. Together, it works. Y conjunto funciona. Because when he, when he, when he move this, and then you turn your body, Gira el cuerpo. See, everything match. Todo está coincidente. It makes sense? Sí, sí, sí. Okay. So this extremity is all moving together with this. But the important thing is this. The important thing is this. This pump. So we do it out. This pump. You can see this. Ah, uh, now, now, I use this to sink. This and this match, right? But because my toe is up, so I use this to sink. But this sink because of this sink. And then this matches. Everything matches again. Alright? Well for? So and I finish. Now I want to emphasize my favorite flavor now is to make the circle big. This. So they can see. And when I step, what happened? When I bring it down, when I step, what happened? When I start, I'm going to shift forward, right? I'm going to shift forward, and then I'm going to move. This and this is going to match. And I move. And I move. And I move. And I move. And I finish. So it's going this way. And my body also going this way. But my body is not going that way. It's going... It's going this way. But it's not going this way. But it's, that, it's not lifting and going. It's going in a 45 degrees angle not lifting yourself up. From here, as I shift back, the next move, how do we shift back? We use the hip. Okay, now it's not so much the hip, more the whole pelvis. Okay. When we talk about hip, we talk about pelvis. Everybody agree? Yes. When we talk about pelvis, it may not be the hip. It, it may be this one, it may be this one, maybe this one. So now we are talking the entire Pelvis is moving back. Of course, the hip is included in this case. Okay, when we just talk about it, I don't know what to say. But anyway, the, the whole thing is moving back. Okay, this and this man. As we're moving back, what happened? This alignment is. We don't do this. Some people go back like this. You remember in class? They separate. Yeah. See that? You cannot separate that. Once you separate it, you lose the potential of keeping yourself strong as it is all the way. You're not keeping yourself strong all the way. You're separating your strength. You want to keep the absolute power in your body constantly all the way from the beginning to the end. That's why you are the mother-in-law today. A strong man. <laughs> See, I give the mother-in-law a compliment. Before I used to say, you kept the mother that's why you're a strong man at all, because you keep your constant, absolute power all the way. You keep it all the way. 
As soon as you do this, you're lost. This butt is gone. This one is going this way, your body is separated. How can you keep your constant uh, absolute power? You cannot. You become inconsistent. So therefore, and then you bring it back. You bring it back, and then you turn, you turn. This this everything turn. If I'm doing this, it's fuzzy. It's uh, uh I mean it's cool doing this, but it's not it's not uh, it's not intimidating. You want to be intimidating a little bit. It's not uh because if you do this, it doesn't confuse people. Hey, but if you do this, people can feel whoa, what is he doing? What is he doing? It's very confusing. I don't know which one his body is moving. Yeah, I don't know which one is moving. But damn it, he's moving. That's the thing. So, so from here, and I bring it back. All right, I bring it back. And now I sing. So when I sing, the whole extremity is matching his lower extremity. Okay, and I'm going back. Okay, now we shift forward. And I sing, of course, who has the question about sing? Ah. Now we sink forward. So from here, okay, from here. So from here, uh, you notice that from here, right? Now you suddenly have a, a little quick changes going on. Quick changes. Remember what quick changes is? It's in the 13 body methods. Remember? For those who attend the 13 body method uh, lecture we had what, five years ago. Oh my God, five years ago. This is called quick change. So when you're here, we have the quick change. So look at it. As I come in here, as I sing, you look at the knee, quick change. What happened to the elbow? Also, you go out that way. The elbow go out that way. But if I do the quick changes, it's funny. But if I do this, ah, it go like this, and the force go like this. So now this and this match. But everything else matches too, don't get me wrong. They all match too. Oh, let's keep on going. Okay, going. So, so it has to match too. So this and this have to match too to make a quick change. And then when we finish, and now this and this goes up. And now the next one, who, well, who is coming forward now? Who? I am. Of course, I'm the only one. Who is coming with my body moving forward? There's no devil here. Who's coming for? Hip is moving. So hip matches as this, right? What is what is coming? The hand is coming to squeeze your neck. And what is coming? The toes and the knees are coming. And then when you sink, what happened? This and the knee matches. And the toes and knees match. This is matching. Again, okay, you are doing it. Sorry to take me today to reward you to get the merit, but you're doing it. But I want you to know that uh, give a tap on your back that you've been doing all, all, all year long. But this is something that you want to understand so that when you teach something, sometimes it's not in the butt stick up, then you got something to say. Hey, we need to match this external three extremity. Wow, that's cool. The big words. I said, wow, this guy really knows what he's talking about. You know, before you say, oh, just do it, just do it. But they don't understand. Sometimes they do uh, deflecting the set punch, uh, they do double punch like this. Yeah, yeah. they don't match. Oh, because they were so into doing it, they're so into trying to be perfect. When you try to be perfect, too perfect, you become imperfect. Always have to try too hard. So that's the definition of why sound. Why sound means external. Three matching. That's word for word translation. I don't know any other poem that we can say in English nicer, right? Like, you know, the three godly move. I don't know. <laughs> or, or godly match or something. You know, they can come up with some good word, that'll be nice. Okay, okay. Then with this three thing, uh, this external movement, there's also mind involved in this. There's also three internal mind involved, but they